30 years ago today, four officers were acquitted in the LAPD beating arrest of Rodney King. That announcement set off days of deadly violence. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Grande is live at the Flashpoint in South L.A. where people gathered today to remember the civil unrest. Carlos. Well, that's right. Leaders and community leaders are urging for peace and unity. This on the 30th anniversary of what was known as the L.A. riots. Today, as you said, people gathered right here. This is the corner of Florence and Normandy, and this was the Flashpoint on that day. We meet today here at the intersection of Florence and Normandy. 1992, this wasn't just an intersection of two streets. It was an intersection of brutality and hopelessness. It was exactly 30 years ago that four LAPD officers were acquitted in the beating of Rodney King. The entire incident captured on video. That's when the violence erupted. It's very easy for us to get along. And we're still asking that question today. Are you serious? You know, Rodney King's daughter spoke at today's event. I first want to acknowledge the pain that the riots came from. You know, we look at it as a violent act, and it is a violent act. However, it was pain. You know, uh, Martin Luther King said the riots are the language of the unheard. There were fires and looting, some of the worst violence in Koreatown and South Los Angeles. It lasted for five days. When it was over, dozens of people were dead, thousands injured, and millions of dollars in property damage. People here say 1992, however, was also a turning point for the city. After the pain and destruction, there was the beginning of change. Operation Hope, which started here as an idea, has now invested $4 billion in home ownership and small business ownership and entrepreneurship around this country. And while we're around the country, we started here. And what about the future? Well, a Loyola Uni Marymount University study released just yesterday found that 68% of respondents believe that it is likely that there will be a similar disturbance sometime in the next five years. Reporting live from South Los Angeles, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.